What's going on you guys? I hope you're all having a great day today. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're actually going to be installing some new mods on my Toyota GR86. With that being said, let's go ahead and get these cars pulled out. That way we can get my 86 pulled into this big garage so we can go ahead and start working on it. Today's video is gonna be pretty special. Um, I'm actually going to be modifying something that I don't give really much love to at all, which is my interior. For those of you who are new here and who have never watched my channel before, um, my interior is actually pretty much all still stock. The only thing that I have done to it is just some aftermarket dome lights and these carbon fiber vent pieces right here. But besides that, everything else in the interior is still all relatively stock. You guys have heard me say it countless times that the interior is where you spend most of your time at with your vehicle. And it's part of the reason why it makes the driving experience so enjoyable, which is why I'm super excited to install these new seat covers that I got from my 86 for a custom interior. If you guys have never heard of custom interior before, it's pretty much in the name. They make all sorts of different types of custom interior seat covers for different types of vehicles, whether that's imports or muscle cars, anything that you could probably think of they have custom seats for. They have a ton of different variety and options that you could choose from when going to decide whether or not you wanna get seat covers for your vehicle. With that being said, let's go ahead and get the seat covers unboxed. That way I can show you guys all how they look. So, like I stated before, there's actually a couple of different versions that they sell for the GR86 and the BRZ. The ones that I ended up actually going with for my GR86 is the black with the overlap hexagon accents all over them. I have a feeling it's gonna look absolutely amazing in the car. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get them fully taken out of the box and we'll see how it looks. All right, so now that we got everything laid out, I kind of wanted to just explain to you guys what, what you're looking at. So these right here, this is the front seats. So it's gonna be the back pad right here. And then of course what you sit on. And then of course the headrest as well. And then coming back over here, these are actually the two rear seats. And then this is what goes on your back. At first glance, I mean, this stuff looks and you know, feels absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to get it thrown onto the car. So with that being said, it should be a really, you know, sort of simple process. Um, it's just, you know, these clips right here and also has these little tags that you can just, you know, clip together. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get the doors opened up and we'll start getting the custom seat covers thrown into the car. You guys can see these little clips right here. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is you'll press them inside this little crevice right here. And once you get them pushed in, they'll actually turn sideways like this. That way they latch in and stay in place. So let's go ahead and push this one all the way back, like I was saying. And just like so, it gets latched into place. So we'll do that for the other two on both sides. And as you can see, now we got all three of the little tabs pressed underneath the seat. Now that we got the first part of the seat thrown on, we'll actually go ahead and do this headrest now. You guys can see it's actually just easily just slips on just like so. Now we'll go ahead and just get this headrest slid back into place. And just like that, you guys. Now let's go ahead and get to the bottom of the seat cover. For this last part of the seat, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and start off by doing is just getting it kind of slipped in place. As you guys can see right here, um, you just slip it on from one side and do the same for the other. And as I mentioned before, it has these little clips that you're gonna wanna go ahead and just get tucked beneath the seat and you just press them in like this. And then once they're in, they fold 
outwards. That way they lock into place. I think the best way of doing this would be to go this way into the seat because it has to clip from one side to the other right here. So you're gonna go around the seat and then in the front, as I showed you guys before, is these little, little hooks. You're gonna wanna just go underneath the seat and latch it onto something, that way they are firm. Now that the seat is pretty much there and in place, what we're gonna go ahead and do is just grab a trim remover tool, which I'm gonna be using the Capri Tools trim remover set to go around and just get all these little sides right here tucked into place, that way we don't see any of them. And there you have it, you guys. Everything on the passenger side seat is now fully complete. Really wasn't too hard. Uh, this was my first time ever dealing with any sort of seat covers before, so I did have to, you know, <laughs> kind of try and figure it out. But now that the first one's on, I feel like the other side and the rear seats should be much, much easier. So with that being said, let's go ahead and switch over to the driver's side seat, and we'll go ahead and get that one all done. So I got both the front driver and passenger side seats done. Let me know what you guys think. I think they honestly turned out absolutely perfect and I honestly really couldn't be happier with how they look. The next process is just, of course, as you guys could see, doing the rear seats. I need to get all my stuff in the rear seats taken out of the car. That way I can have a clean canvas. And then um, to do the rear seats, if you guys can see, there's actually this little clip right here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt you're gonna have to actually get the rear seats taken out of the car. That way you can get the new seat covers slipped on. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and empty everything out of the back seats. That way we can go ahead and start working on the rear seat covers. It's actually the next day. Um, I wanted to get everything that I could pretty much finished up yesterday. And now I'm gonna work on doing the back seats. This may be a little bit difficult just because there's, you know, limited room in the back seat just because of how small they are. But with that being said, um, I think it's just a process of getting those two back seats removed out of the car. And then we'll go ahead and get the custom interior seat covers slipped on over them. And then we'll just get it thrown back into the car. So with that being said, I'll we'll go ahead and show you guys how you get the back seats removed. Going over to these two little 10 mil bolts right here and just getting them loosed up on both sides. To get this rear seat out, I'm pretty sure you press down on this and pull, wait, pull, pull up on this and press. Oh yeah, just like that. And then now there's this little white connector in the back. So go ahead and get that disconnected, which I am horrible with these cords, you guys. So bad at this. Oh, there we go. All right, you guys, so there's gonna be two bolts right here. It's gonna be actually two 12s, and then you're gonna take those off. That way you can remove the child seat bracket and as well as the seat belt right here. Go ahead and get these two 12 millimeter bolts loosened up on both sides. Just like that. Woo! There we go, you guys. All the seats are out now. So coming around over here to this back portion of the rear seat, I'm pretty sure this longest piece right here is for this. Yeah, okay, so I'm assuming these holes right here have to line up with this, just like so on both sides. And then 
there's actually if you guys look there's actually these little um, velcro things and you can actually stick it onto the back of this like this sorry it's kind of hard for me to do with one hand you guys I should probably put my head mount back on but just kind of wanted to just kind of show you like that and of course well you mean you guys get the idea you do that around for all of them and then for these right here it was just like before you just clip them in and then they latch just like so that way they don't move around and then there's also some more velcro strips on these sides just to make sure it will stay down and firm in place so I'll go ahead and show you guys what it should look like so this is how I got it looking I got the three uh, little I don't even know what kind of clips you would call these but and then I got the connectors right here and then there's these three tabs up on the top and there you go you guys we got all of the rear seats all done now so we got this one right here the right the left one right here and then also of course the main part so let's go ahead and get these thrown back into the car now i got the rear seat backing all put back into place now i just need to get everything tucked around in the corners that way there's no excess sticking up so i got everything all finished up now all the seats and the seat covers are put back into place where they should be I think it looks great. I'm gonna actually go out right now and grab some photos and some videos for you guys at a nearby spot. Just so you guys can see how everything turned out. So with that being said, let's get the car started up. Let's head out to the photo shoot location. All right, you guys, so let me know how you think they turned out. I just wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you again to Custom Interior for sponsoring today's video. If you need any sort of custom seat covers made for your vehicle, make sure to, of course, go check out the links down in the description below to go check out Custom Interior's website. I'm in love with how these custom seat covers turned out and look. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like down below. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you guys are new. That way you can stay up to date and see all the types of content that I make just like this. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.